guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. I'm back, looking all disheveled because I've been painting. Um, twofer, so this is the second video tonight. I'm gonna do a 10 by 20 and do a little flip and drag with a bunch of colors. I had to change up my pouring medium um, because I ran out of the uh, golden color pouring medium and gloss, so I'm just using glue and water tonight. Uh, I'll tell you about that when I get you down. Let's get started. All right, so there's all my colors all lined up. Uh, colors, recipe, pouring medium recipe. I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> colors, recipe, brands, pictures, ratios, everything you need to know um, to create your own piece of art. Uh, will come up at the very end of the video um, for you to screen capture. It'll also be a timestamp, which you can find in the description section and as a pinned comment down below. Um, I have how many brands? Five, four brands tonight. So I have some Liquitex Basics. This is Naples Yellow. Mixed in with a little bit of, um, I had leftover uh, Liquitex yellow orange Azo, so half and half mixed. It still just looks like Naples yellow to me. I have my Amsterdam turquoise green, the Montmartre Vermilion. I have some Amsterdam and crim Carmen or Crimson? Carmen. I switched and got rid of that Artist Loft. Um, Titanium white, switched it to Amsterdam titanium white, and then I have some Amsterdam uh, Prussian blue. So those are the colors. Recipe, I did 65% Elmer's glue wall to 35% water. So I made up, um, was it 20 ounces? So 13 ounces of glue, and then seven ounces of water. Gave that a good mix one to one ratio and then I just kept adding a little bit of pouring medium until it drizzled off the stick and wasn't glumpy anymore. And then I augmented with water as needed. So this is what my consistency looks like tonight. I have them lined up because that's the order I want to go in. Like that. So a little bit of a mound disappears pretty quick. Doesn't really live, leave a mound on a mound. So I made this slightly thinner than what I had in my last video. I am going to go ahead and use silicone tonight, my spot on treadmill silicone. You have to say it with a British accent too. I'm just saying. So you want to put three in all the colors. Well, I'll do one more in that one. Except the white, we'll skip the white and give these a quick mix. And then I'm going to do a flip and drag. And I'm going to do these three cups. I probably will not fill these up all the way. And then just drag them down the center. That's the plan. So let me mix these up real quick. And then we'll layer. Uh, and then I can actually chat for a minute. What do you want to talk about? What's new? What's going on? We're bummed out because uh, we had to cancel our Thanksgiving plans. I have family members who have COVID. My brother-in-law and sister-in-law both have it. And my brother-in-law in Pittsburgh is high risk. So we were supposed to go up there and spend Thanksgiving and can't do it. And plus Joe's dad is in his 80s and we don't wanna expose him and Joe said, are you gonna cook a turkey for the three of us? And I'm like, oh, hell no, I'm ordering from Wegmans. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Kind of sad. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna just do the um, same colors in all three cups, because it's getting to be late and I don't have the brain power to remember what's in what cup. So we'll try to do two layers in all three cups. One. We'll see how those two go together. Whew. 
I've been painting on the side without you guys um, in order to hopefully hold um, an auction toward the end of November. I don't know if it will be strictly, I think last year I did um, strictly functional art. I think I'll have some functional pieces and then a bunch of smaller ones this year. There's the red. I don't know if I should have put the red with the orange, but too late now. I don't want to put it with the blue, so I'm going to put white next. I better leave some room for another layer. And then the blue, and then we'll go again real quick. It's been a, been a minute since I've done one of these. I was going to do like, you know, try to do negative space again. And then I just decided, yeah. Um, I've taught a couple students via like Zoom or FaceTime this week and I know a couple of them just kind of want to see flip cups and flip and drags because I guess I won't need that anymore. Anything left over I think I'm going to use to make a clock. So this will definitely be the last layer. One, two, Three. Oh, and I know I owe you information about um, the new clock kicks, clock clock kits that I've been using, but um, I'm out of resin, and I want to be able to show you a completed piece. So I'm waiting for my resin to show up. A couple of you have written to me asking. Oh, this is gonna be close. I know I'll have room. All right, the white and the blue, red, white, and blue. That was pretty quick, actually. Oh, and there goes the white. And then I'm kill off the blue. These are pretty full for me to flip over too. I could be all careful and get a piece of cardboard and slide them off and all of that, but that's not very adventurous, is it? Look at that. I can still flip a cup. Those are pretty full too. That's a lot of paint. All right, we we'll give those a second. Throw in some gloves. See what happens. All right, ready? So not very far to drag. And I'll probably have leftover that I'll put on the ends here. Yeah, we'll just do that. And I'll save what's ever left in that cup. Wow, man, the blue is, hmm. Hmm, I'll wait. The blue is taking over. Oh, there's the red. Let's do this, let's double flip. And do that there. And there, a lot of that's gonna come off the edges, so I'm not too worried about it. And we'll stick whatever left on these corners, just so we have coverage. Got a blank area there, but I think I can wiggle over there fairly easy so i'm gonna stretch i'm happy there's no cells a couple baby ones that's okay um 
for this technique. I don't like cells right out of the cup because then they get all stretched out. I want to be able to uh, tilt a little bit and then boss around the paint and tell it where I want the cells. Instead of the paint telling me. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna wiggle side to side just to see if I can get coverage in that one spot. If not, I might have to, this is risky, but I guess I'll do it. Let's just pour this in here and see what happens. See, it didn't get too many lines, but normally what happens is you start getting ribbons. So let me tilt a bit. Happy, happy colors. Bring this down. Get to some of my areas. Get the paint to kiss up. Meet each other. Say hello, neighbor. I'm gonna keep a lot of the paint on the canvas for now and not let it run off. And then we'll give a torch and then we'll boss it around. There we go, oh, what a little spot. All right, so coverage is good. A couple spots, spots, a couple spots, a couple cells, you know what I mean, <laughs> are popping up. So let's torch on high for a second. Well, I'm gonna have to go low because this, uh, this torch doesn't seem uh, very powerful. It's new. Hello? Anything? Anything at all? I don't want to have to break out Mac Daddy, which is my big, big torch that I use for resining. How about in here? You? Yeah, oh, a couple little caterpillars. Let's see what happens when we move it all around. Well, I'm gonna get rid of this loop. I think that's the first thing to go. Let's just do that. I have coverage, so it's not like I have to beeline anywhere. I can just move paint around. So let's take off the Mr. Loop-de-loop -loop down there. Stretch out some cells. Let's take off this caterpillar row here. It's not offensive, but it's gonna come off. And we'll kind of straighten out some lines. Take that off. Oh, I got a group of yellow ones in the middle. It's a little commune. I don't really like how blurry this part is for sure. Everything else is bright and crisp. And this part here is kind of modeled. So I like this over here very much. So I'm gonna swing down to my right. And hopefully I still have enough paint. I should. We'll just wiggle them down that way and take a bunch of that off. Do some there. Bring the weight of my paint down toward me, and then go off again this way, down a little bit, off this way, and that's most of it. There's a cluster of cells that can come off there. I'm not happy about that, that group of yellow cells. Let me stare at this. Mm, maybe they're not so offensive. Let me bring this down and over. They're all keeping their shape, so I'm just kind of going to go for it and at least get them out of the center. And take things off this one edge up here still. There's half of it gone. You know, maybe if I bring it back and stretch it out 
it'll be okay. The cells are looking amazing, I gotta say. It looks like, now it looks like a comet. Let me see what I want to do. Let me stop and stare now. I got coverage almost everywhere. I feel like it's a very traditional pour. My favorite thing is the blue and orange corner. Although this section here is pretty great too. My blue cells here kind of got lost under the blue paint so maybe I try to go back a little bit and get rid of some of those I would take off a little more of the yellow comet too let's do that hey where's the bottom of my canvas come here you I'm gonna come down this way, kind of straighten things out. I don't know if I can get to those blue cells. Mm -hmm. My paint's kind of thick, so it's slow moving. There goes some of them. And I'm gonna come back, because I wanna keep my little orange cells in that one corner, and they're getting wonky, so I'm gonna bring everything back. I got rid of a little bit. I can see it, see it running down the sides there. So that's good. I stretched out the cells. I think I'm gonna come down here this way. See if I can open things up a little bit. And then tilt, can you guys see? Tilt to toward me. Straighten things out. There's one blue cell up there. It's got to roll off. Go ahead. Off you go. I feel like running a stick through the, this. Like it's that. That's all my eye sees is this right here. Like I want to take a, a thing and like cut it in half or something. Hold on one sec. I'm going to grab my, um, a little stick. Okay, I'm back. So I just got this. And this could be a big mistake, but am I gonna be able to do anything? Huh, nope. No, I just made it look like a snake. <laughs> like I could make a smiley face and it doesn't want to split in half. Nope. <laughs> Does it look ridiculous? Oh my God. That's always something. Nope, it doesn't want to do anything. It's like, I'm here to stay, lady. I am here to stay. And I'm going to be like, nope. Nope, I want to at least make you smaller. I'll make you turn you into cells. Ha ha. The old finger trick. Fingers always work best. I'm just going to turn you into two little cells right there. So you're not so obnoxious. Yep. Ta-da. Look at that, that's so cute. Um, all right, sort of fix that. Let me stare. I think I'm done, you all. This is pretty bright and happy and chipper and lots of different color cells. Um, I think I'm going to just tilt, just to straighten things out. I love like, I got like this curve thing going on here. I wanna take a little bit of this off, just like a tiny bit. And I have a corner on the side that needs coverage. And then other than that, we're done. That's it. And I'll get you guys down for a close up. If I wanted to, and I'm not gonna, or you're not gonna talk me into it, I could torch again and get like, like I did in the last video and get like baby cells and like put a group there and then tilt them and have different size cells. I think this painting has plenty. I don't think there's a need for that for this guy. Here. Just getting a glove on. I'm trying not to touch my sides. But 
I'm just gonna, let me see where the weight of the paint is. Should be near me. And then I just wanna go, it's gonna be slow. And I'm, want, I'm just, you guys can't see it, but I'm watching like two cells, waiting for them to fall off. And they're almost there. Oh, no, no, go ahead. See, if you don't go all the way over, they sneak back up. <laughs> Sneaky. Did that do it? Nope, a little more. A little more, good, you can do it. Off you go, off you go, go off. And there they go. And then, wait, make sure they're all the way up. They were down here. Yeah, bring everything back up. Cause I don't want any wonky lines. And then can I come off this way a little more? Just like a little bit, can I? I think I can. Hold on, I wanna get as much paint off as I, you know, can, cause I want this to dry nice. And there we go. I just got another big glob of paint. Cells are still looking good. That's all running down the side. That's good. Just bring everything back. And I'm not one to have to have perfectly round cells. If you've been watching me for any length of time or like from a year ago, you know I'm prone to like stretching cells out so they're not all perfect. Um, yeah. Ta-da! That's done. Um, I'm going to turn the camera off. I need to touch up a, a white corner here and over here. And, um, oh, this looks much better now. And I'll get you guys done for a close-up. Be right back. All right, here she be. Let's start down here. I, I'm calling this the bottom. So you got, it kind of turned into like a um, purpley blue color there. Oops, sorry, here with with the cells, kind of interesting. My favorite part though, is coming over here with the orange and the blue. And then the change of colors. I like the change of color in background. That's my favorite thing. That's why I didn't want a torch anymore. See so the light blue and then the dark blue and then a whole bunch of colors. And then some red and pink and some Primo cells, all kinds of different colors everywhere here. Where's that one? This little section here. Um, we're turquoise and we're orange. Uh, got some white cells. That's fine. And the part I didn't like, that yellow, which looks better now. Um, actually, when you put this up high, that pop of yellow up there actually balances out the yellow that's uh, at the bottom of the canvas. So it's kind of uh, fortuitous that that is there there and then this is the upper left hand corner and then the upper right hand corner no bikini corners just straight across and uh, again the change of color in the background um that makes this painting for me so yeah super cute let me say goodbye Hey guys, I'm back with the dried results from the um, little eight inch round from the last video and this video. So we'll start with this guy here. If I do this, you might be able to see the spots of silicone. So obviously once this cures, I'll give this, uh, this and the other guy a really good cleaning. I'll just use um, some warm water with, uh, with some Dawn dish soap on a sponge. Uh, give it a good wipe and a rinse and pat dry the paper towel. And then when I go to resin, I will put a coat of Golden's Isolation Coat down on this before I resin it. But really, really super cute. I think um, it's not a clock, it's solid wood. I could make it into a clock if I, you know, someone really wanted me to. But I think it kind of goes like that's the orientation, like that, like that's the bottom there. Um, super, super pretty, like coral reef underwater or something. Really happy with that one. And then 
Um, I did a couple other things off camera when you guys weren't looking. This one is a clock. There's all the colors there. I just took cut out the whole of uh, this one here. So interesting to me how the colors look different every time. This one got like the darker red. Um, and the other one looks more orange. But there's that one. So this one oh, will be a clock. And then I did a Lazy Susan. I really like this because I got the red and the blue um, mixed, made purple here in the middle. Um, I do have a video coming up showing how to pour on things that have a lip. That'll probably be, um, is that the next video? I think that's the next video. So you'll see how to do something like this. Got a little bit of paint right there. But there's that guy just hanging out. And then finally, the one from this video, the 10 by 20. It dried great. Um, no cracks, no nothing. It took about two whole two full days for it to be totally dry. I'm trying to tilt it so you can see like the spots of silicone. So if you do use silicone, um, it does raise up out of the um, out of the acrylic fairly quick. Uh, but you do want to give it a really good wash. Get as much off as you possibly can before you varnish or resin. But uh, super, super pretty. I'm really happy with this. This will go up on my website. Um, probably not for a couple weeks because I gotta let it cure. It's dry, but it's definitely not cured. So, I said everything. That's it, I'll uh, say goodbye. Hold on. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the, um, the old school flip and drag. That's how I started off doing those. So fun to revisit. Uh, I think I'm going to do another one on a 12 by 24. That'll be the next video. <clears throat> and then maybe one more even after that um, with some negative space because I want to go back to the, the swipe thing and give that a go. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're new to the channel, Welcome to my silliness, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. You all take care. Be safe. Peace out.